All right, so uh, I'm outside a place called Rosana, and uh, it's apparently a place where they make uh, batik arts, which is wax arts, and that's all I know about it. So let's go in and see. The last few weeks on Tattle Tales, we've introduced many aspects of Penang, from food and drink to markets to scenery to cafes. But when our team were strolling through Georgetown, we came across Rosanna's Batik. Victor was so fascinated by this art that's used to make everything from fancy carpets to dresses that we decided to make one more video before leaving Penang. I've been doing this for um, 30 years now. 30? Yeah, wow. so the shop is 10 years. Wow, okay. Batik has been practiced in Southeast Asia since at least the 12th century, and artists have developed many intricate designs and patterns. But every pattern, no matter how complex, starts off as a simple sketch, with an act of creativity and ingenuity. But I, I, have, an, I have an idea. I have an okay. idea. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's good. <laughs> Once you have a sketch, you use wax to mark off the areas you want to leave uncolored. With a special pen called a chanting, you can carefully apply melted wax to make a border around your pattern. Now here's the secret that makes batik work. Rosanna explained that because water and wax don't mix, you can use a water-based dye to color in your pattern, and the wax border you made earlier stops the dye from going into the areas you want to leave uncolored. <laughs> It's pretty fun, actually. Looking around the studio, we could tell that Batik had been a lifelong passion for Rosanna. Ever since she first learned about it in school, she has been making sketches. Rosanna told us she draws inspiration from her everyday life and her childhood memories. So in a way, Batik is her way of expressing her memories and feelings. There's a few other things you can do to spice up your pattern, like sprinkling a dash of salt to create a blur effect, or folding and twisting the cloth, which cracks the dried wax and overlays a new pattern. When a great batik artist puts pen to paper, it's like stroking a match. All it takes is a little imagination to ignite those sparks, and there's no limit to what a little wax and dye can do. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to the Tattle channel by clicking the logo at the bottom right. We travel around and visit people like Rosanna to discover how the locals live. Next week, we'll meet a local who's been a photographer for President Trump and the Malaysian royal family. See you then.